Okay, percent of a number. Percent of a number is kind of a cool topic. And the reason why I say that is because um, you're dealing with percents, but you're also finding little techniques on how to um, solve this a little bit easier. So percent of a number, we're going to change the percent into a decimal by going two jumps to the left of the number. Example, 5%, the decimal, if it doesn't have one in it, the decimal always falls at the end of a number. And we're going to jump two spots, so we're going to go one, two, and our 5% becomes 0 0.05. So we're just going to do this. And of means to multiply. Then we're going to solve it. So we're going to jump two spots. One, two. So we're going to have decimal point 42 of means times. We're going to times by 70. This we don't have to go zero, zero. So we can just place a zero. Seven times two is 14. 28, 29. Okay. And we have two numbers after decimal points. So we jump it back in two spots. One, two. So see, one, two. Our new answer is 29.40, which is 29 and 40 hundredths. Now, if you were like, what would you do with that row of zeros? This is what I didn't do. Zero, zero, drop a zero. That's how you guys learn it when you're younger. Zero times two, zero. Zero times four, zero. Drop a zero. And then um, 14, 29. Same answer, different approach. Okay? So here we go. Next one. Jump twice. Decimal point 18 of means times 125. I'm going to put the 125 on top because it's longer. I put the point 18 on the bottom. 8 times 5 is 40. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 8, 9, 10. Drop to 0. 5, 2, 1. At zero, five, two, two. Two numbers after decimal points, one, two. Answer, 22 and 50 hundredths. Okay. Now, bottom. Two jumps, one, two. We're right in the middle of a number. One decimal point, two, zero. It's a longer set of numbers. Of means times, times it by 90. This is where we'd have zero, zero, zero in your top line. We can just put a zero. Now we hear it. Zero, 18, 9, 10. Two numbers, one, two. Answer, 108.00, which is just 108. Jump two, one, two. This was longer. 310 times decimal point, 36. Zero, six, 18. Drop a zero. Zero, three, nine. Add. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Nine, 10, 11. Two numbers are behind decimal points. And we get 111 and 60 hundredths. Final answer. And as always, this is Miss Bobby, and I heart math like oak CrossFit.